Hi there, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another nail related video. Um, I'm going to just start with my usual disclaimer. I know nothing about nails. I'm not a professional. I didn't do any research. I've never even had a manicure, a professional manicure done to me. And I don't do any special treatments or anything, but I do care a lot about my nails and I try to kind of learn with time what is best for them and what I can do to make them healthier and stronger and everything like that. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I have an, a huge problem with splitting. And uh, I did have some discoloration, like yellowish, uh, a yellowish tinge on my nails for quite a long time because I do wear nail polish quite a lot, or at least I used to for like months at a time. And I didn't really let my nails breathe in between, which is not the healthiest thing. I always wear um, a base coat of a nail straightener or something like that to kind of uh, protect my nail. But over time, it doesn't help as much. You still need to let your nail breathe every once in a while and just do a nail strengthener or um, not put anything on your nails really to just uh, kind of strengthen the nail a little bit on its own, if that makes sense. That's just what I learned over time and what works best for my nails. So a few months ago, I just decided to do something completely different and kind of do a nail rehab, I call it and do a 30 day challenge where I reapply only a nail strengthener every like couple of days. I did this a few times in the past, a few years ago, quite a lot of time ago, um, but it did prove very effective. So I just decided to try it out at first with the SE um, Treat Love & Color collection and I just chose one color and kind of did a video on that. I will link it down below in case you're interested. But I wasn't that impressed with the results. I did notice that just by reapplying every couple of days and letting the nail um, not have as much product on it, I, feel, I felt like it did do some good. And also the product itself, I do feel like was a little bit strengthening, but I did still have a lot of splitting. I feel like the color went back to normal and the ends looked a lot more white and not as sheer and yellowy as they were before. Um, and my nails also grow quite quickly. They don't really have a problem with that, I guess. Some more than others, but they do grow quite quickly, so that wasn't an issue for me. But um, yeah, I do feel like it helped some of the problems, but the splitting remained and the nails were still kind of chipping and breaking because of the splitting. And it was just, they weren't in a great shape. So my mom actually recommended another nail strengthener. She thought it was Essie's, but it actually isn't. It's a Sally Hansen one. And obviously by the title, you could already guess what it is. So it looks like this. It comes in a little pink bottle. I don't have the exterior packaging, unfortunately, because like I said, my mom gave this to me to try and she probably threw it away at some point. So this is called a Complete Care 7-in-1 Nail Treatment. There's no other information on it. It doesn't say what is the 7-in-1. I'm assuming it's like, um, a top coat, a base coat, uh, a nail treatment, strengthener, builder, um, it helps growth and everything, I just, I'm assuming. I might try to do a little bit of research and add that down below if I have time. I'm just not sure that I will, so I'm just guessing here what the 7-in-1 is. But uh, yeah, she spoke very highly of this, my mom, and she thought that I would try it out. So. I said okay and I kind of did the same idea the 30 day kind of challenge and just reapplied every other day I feel like I did better this time around than last time I didn't skip any days uh, I didn't go more than three days with the same um, layer on with the same coat on uh, I really did try to have as much turnover as possible and everything and I started on July 27th it is today August 31st, so a little over a month. I'm just gonna put it out there. I freaking love this. I'm definitely gonna buy a bottle of my own, and I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep using this on its own for quite a long time, at least like a couple of months ahead, um, and I will explain why. So I do definitely recommend trying this out. I feel like this is magical. I don't know what's in this. If anyone knows why this works so well or what makes this different than other nail strengtheners or base coats or anything, please let me know because this is freaking amazing. Uh, I did do a lot of cutaways um, in the different stages of my nails. Like I did one which I will show you right now, which is how my nails look like in the beginning of the 30 days. So 
right when I started. There's nothing on them. Um, they look okay. They're, they don't look that terrible. I think they were quite short, but they were just very, very split and they were very, not very, but they were frail and they did chip a lot and break a lot. So I, that's why I kind of started with this. Then two weeks later, there was such a huge difference. Again, I'll put the cutaway right here. Um, and as you can see, I, I feel like you can see this, they look much, much healthier. I felt like they were a lot stronger and only one nail had uh, splitting on it, which is freaking amazing. Just two weeks, which is unbelievable. And only one nail had issues. It was my um, the middle finger on my left hand. And it still has some issues, which I will go into a little bit later, but yeah, that was really the only nail that had any issues. All the rest were uh, incredible. Uh, the tips were very, very white in comparison to how they were before. Uh, even now, looking at them, there's only like three nails that still look a little bit sheer at the tips, but the color of them just looks so much better. Even the pink tone of the actual nail looks really, really nice. And they just look healthy, they look long, they look even, they look much, much better. I feel like the difference between day one and two weeks later was so insane, like overwhelming. I just could not believe how great my nails were looking and feeling. And the no splitting thing was really unbelievable. Even now when I try to bend the nails a little bit, I feel like it's much harder to do that than it used to be. And yeah just the no splitting thing is is something that i was struggling with for so so long for months and months and years actually uh but it just got to a point where i was like okay i have to try something to fix this because it was looking really bad and even when i covered the nails with nail polish it would chip a lot easierly because there were different layers to the nail so part of the nail will come off with the nail polish itself if you know what i mean this is quite a common thing i feel like with splitting nails uh, but yeah, I was just blown away with the, by the results. So two and a half weeks passed since then, since the latest uh, cutaway. And I'll show you now what my nails look like. I just took these little short clips just before I started filming this video. So I did one with just the um, nails themselves. Again, there's nothing on them, not the nail strengthener, nothing. Uh, I just wanted to show you what they look like now. I feel like there's not that much of a difference between the two and a half weeks ago and now just because the one nail that still has issues still has issues um, from then to now and all the rest of the nails look really good I would say that the index fingernails which always t tend to kind of bend on the sides they look much much better and have um, a less round shape to them they're still a little bit more rounded than the other ones just because I use them a lot for different things like opening things and I don't know it's just they're naturally that way, I feel like, but I do feel like they're, they look more similar to the other nails now. This sounds like I'm just babbling and making no sense, but I, I know what I mean. I don't know if any of you have that issue, but I found this quite a lot with my index fingernails, so just thought I would mention it. And the last cutaway, the one that I'm going to show you right now, is with the actual nail strengthener on, just because I wanted to show you how amazing it looks. I did want to mention that this has incredible, incredible shine. I would definitely compare this to the top coat, my favorite top coat ever, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, which is really, really shiny. It looks glossy. It looks wet even. And this one is no different. I would say that I kind of gotten used to it now, but I remember when I first applied it the first like couple of times, maybe three times, I was really blown away by how shiny and healthy it looks. I feel like it also changes the color of the nail just a tiny bit to make it look a little bit more pink. It's completely clear, there's no color to it, so maybe I'm just imagining, but I just feel like it flatters the nails so much and it just looks beautiful on its own. And I feel like now that I've been doing this for like a month, I don't really want to go back to colored nail polish just because I love the way my nails look so much. And in the past, it was a complete opposite. Like, I couldn't get, wait to put on a fresh coat of nail polish just because I hated the, the look of my nails so much. They just looked very damaged and discolored and everything, and I just wanted to hide them, whereas now I really love the way they look, and I can't stop saying that because I really do love the way they look, and that was the whole point of this. So I'm really happy with the results overall. So yeah, that's basically it. Like I said, I will keep using this for the the next like two maybe three months 
I am going on my trip now, which I've talked about so many times. So I'm probably not, not going to reapply this every other day, probably just once a week because I'm not going to have much time. Um, so I don't know how much of a difference that will make. Uh, I will let you know if it stops the progress or if my nails go back to being more frail. I will definitely let you know. But I feel like I need to keep using this just for that one nail that's still a little bit messed up. Uh, it does chip and it broke in the very beginning. I feel like on the first week it broke really bad because I hit my hand on something on a door or whatever, I don't remember, and the nail just bam, broke. So um, that's the only problematic nail, this one right here. Um, but I feel like it's doing much better and I feel like every time I apply a new coat of this it really really helps to kind of combine the nail back. I don't really know how to explain it but there's a lot less splitting now and I feel like the more I file it down and let it grow um, out again I feel like it will keep getting healthier. I don't know if I'm making sense but you know what I mean. The more it grows while using this product I feel like it will go back to being healthy and it will stop the splitting. So this is the only reason that I feel like I need to keep using this just for that one nail and maybe strengthening the other ones and helping them grow a little bit more evenly like I said. But yeah, I would really, really highly recommend this. Um, whether you want to try the 30 day challenge that I did, do the nail rehab as I call it, or if you just want to use this as a base coat or a top coat, I feel like both would be great just because it's, this is very, very shiny and I feel like it's very protective of the nail. If you have very damaged nails, I would really recommend using this if they break a lot, if they split especially, because that was my main concern and I feel like it totally resolved it. Uh, I feel like you, you should try this out, especially if you have like an event to go to, a special occasion, in like a week or two when your nails aren't looking good. I feel like doing this, what I did, reapplying every other day, would really, really, really help to completely rehabilitate your nails in just like a week or two. Because the difference for me from when I started, like I said, to two weeks later was just mind-blowing. Uh, I remember I kept looking at my nails up close and kind of seeing if there was any splitting and there wasn't. So I was really blown away. Again, would really, really recommend this. Uh, but yeah, thank you mom for lending this to me. I definitely, definitely love it and I feel like it was totally worthwhile doing this uh, reapplying every other day. I know that it takes time because you need to let it dry. But it doesn't take as long as obviously a nail polish color because you need to wait till it dries out evenly. And this one isn't really that fussy. Uh, it also doesn't take long to take it off because it's clear. So I feel like if you have a free 10 minutes in your day, you can totally do what I did and get good results. I would even say maybe doing it every day, like reapplying every day, but I don't know if that's necessary. If you have any kind of comments, feedback on this product or any similar product, or any issues you have with your nails, I would be really happy to hear it because I feel like there's a lot of trial and error in this um, subject and you can really learn from other people's mistakes or experience so that's really why I wanted to do this video as well as the previous one and I will definitely let you know if I see any difference in the next couple of months but yeah, I'm loving this, totally 10 out of 10, 5 stars, whatever and uh, yeah would really recommend you uh, picking this up. I will definitely be looking for this in the States, um, getting maybe a bottle or two, maybe a new one for my mom as well, but yeah. So after battling on for the last 60 minutes and probably repeating myself 500 times, I'm just gonna end the video right here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, write any comments down below, any helpful comments down below, and uh, yeah, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!